Thank you. Uh, so much of what we've heard here today has been about uh, the universe and the cosmos and the world, and I guess I've been asked to talk a little bit about me, uh, and hopefully maybe you too. Uh, real briefly, I, I'm somebody who works in film and television, theater, uh, did mostly film and television for the first uh, half or more of my career, and uh, found myself in the, oh, about 15, 20 years ago, doing a commercial in a driveway in the San Fernando Valley, uh, selling, I think it was a Dodge minivan. And uh, the, uh, the, the idea for the commercial was a family of, you know, mom and dad, three kids, the dog, washing the family car in the driveway on a Saturday afternoon. Uh, towards the last minute of it, it was decided we would do this all in one take. And we had this studio dog. There's, we, we, we use in the film business what we call a studio dog who's trained to be around cameras and lights and cables and all that stuff. Uh, and they, you know, the trainer sits off camera and he instructs the dog what to do. Uh, however, that, that once it was decided we were going to do this in one take, which we then tried to do, uh, it became difficult and almost impossible, we realized, to have this studio dog do his business, which was basically, you know, jump on the kids, jump in the car, knock over the bu bucket of uh, soap and water, uh, get sprayed by the hose, and do all sorts of things that dogs do. Uh, and so we tried over and over again, and what the, what the problem was was our trainer couldn't instruct him in 20, uh, through the course of this 20-minute one-shot take uh, to do all those things, he couldn't get him to, okay, now jump in the van, now jump on the kids, now run around the truck, now jump, you know, spill over the bucket. Uh, and we tried it over and over again, and the idea that this dog was going to be able to do this was clearly becoming uh, remote. Uh, a neighbor came by who was, lived next door, and he whispered in my ear, he said, you know, I got a dog who's just a dog, but he loves to do this kind of stuff. <laughs> You want to give it a shot? And I thought, well, the sun is setting, we're running out of time. How about, sure, bring him in. So he brings this dog over, and we start the cameras, and the dog, we let the dog in, and by God, this dog, he's jumping in the van, he's climbing over the kids, he's spraying them, you know, getting sprayed with water, all this kind of great stuff. And he nailed it in one take. <laughs> uh, I, it was then that I realized uh, uh, that there was a parallel in my own life. Uh, this dog had had all the dog trained out of him. He had become a really good actor dog, but he wasn't a real dog. Uh, and from that point on, I began to, I decided that I needed to, to kind of follow my dog, to find my dog. And in many ways, I had trained the dog out of myself. Uh, and since then, I've been doing, I've gotten some movies made, I've directed theater, written some screenplays. And I guess the moral of the story is, is to try and get in touch with your own dog uh, and see where it leads you. Good stuff can happen. Thank you. <laughs>